Okay, enough of that. Um, hey YouTube. So today's video, I am going to take you girls about my hair regimen. Um, this is everything I do on a daily basis. Um, the first thing I do in my regimen is that I shampoo my hair um, once a week. So, yeah, once a week. The first week, week one, I will shampoo my hair. I don't have any more. I need to go to Salas and give me some, but um, it's the Afogee line. Afogee line is the protein um, line. So I use for week one, I will shampoo my hair like Sunday. That's my wash day. So I will wash my hair with the Afogee um, shampoo and I will follow up with the two minute reconstructor, which I still have some left in here. So I do, do this week one. Week two, I will shampoo my hair with the moisturizing shampoo. And now I am using the one and only Argan oil. Now this is new and I used it once and so far so good. So this is for my moisture. So you want to balance your protein and you want to balance your moisture for your hair. Protein gives your hair strength and makes it strong. Moisture, you know, especially when you realize you need your hair to be moist. Um, so this is week two. And then after I shampoo it, I will use the one and only moisturizing conditioner. When I put my <coughs> excuse me. When I put my conditioner in my hair, I leave it on for maybe for five minutes or ten minutes and then I rinse it off. So that's week two. And then week three, we go back to the apogee line. And then week four, back to the moisture line. So I'm balancing both my moisture and my protein. So that's how I wash my hair. Now in between washes during the week, I am co-washing my hair. And um, usually I rotate between, usually my, my staple co-wash conditioner is the Tresemme with the vitamin E, but I'm out of that. So I have some cheapy conditioner, which is the VFI Strawberry Moisture Milks. And this is for moisturizing as well. So I would co-wash my hair with this, and I would do this like maybe three times a week. So Sundays is usually my wash day, so then I do wash my hair Tuesday, then Thursday, you know, so stuff like that. So usually I co-wash with the Tresemme, but since I'm out and I have this, I'm using this stuff until I run out of this, and then I go back to my Tresemme. But you can wash your co-wash your hair with any conditioner of choice. It's really up to you. And after I co-wash my hair, then I would deep condition my hair after co-washing. So co-washing is just shampoo, well not shampoo, but washing your hair and your scalp with the conditioner. And it still gives your hair clean. Now, I would follow up with a deep conditioner. Um, usually the deep conditioners that I've been using is the Garnier 3 minute deep conditioner, but I'm out of that. <laughs> I need to go to Walmart and restock up on my staples. But this is new, so I'm going to try this out. Um, I haven't, well I have, I did try it, but I didn't leave it in too long. But this is the one and only Argan Oil uh, Mask. And it says you can leave it on for 7 to 10 minutes, so this is for the deep conditioner. I'm going to actually shampoo my hair tonight and I'm going to use the, um, the one and only. Argan oil line. So this is I will be using for now on for the deep conditioner. So I'll let you guys know exactly how this works out. Used it once and my hair was super shiny. Right after my relax actually, it was just um believable. But I'm going to be using this. So that's the washes. Now after I wash my hair, I will um put a leave-in conditioner and I will either use this, the cream in nature leave-in cream conditioner with the lemongrass and rosemary. Or I will use the Garnier Fructis Leave-In Conditioner for Slick and Shine. Love this stuff. If you watched my previous videos, you know I am in love with this brand. I love this leave-in conditioner. It smells so good. My hair is super soft. Love it. But these are the leave-in conditioners that I will um, put in my hair. Um, I'll put maybe like a quarter size and I'll rub that through my hair. I will use that. Um, now, my moisturizers that I use in my hair. This is my main one that I use, which is the Herbal Lessons Long Term Relationships Split In Leave In Split In for Long Hair. I use this. I love it. Um, it is a little heavy, but I, I do use this. This is my favorite. Um, I use this as well. Um, the Organic Root Stimulated Olive Oil. This is really good. I use this in my daughter's hair as well. I use that if I'm not using this. So it's just whatever I reach in and grab that day. That's my moisturizer. Now after I moisturize my ends, I rub, rub it through my ends like that and then I go through my hair and do like that. Now after I moisturize my hair, I will seal with my favorite oil, 
their one and only argan oil you can find this at sally's i think it's like almost ten dollars love this stuff this stuff smells so good love it so i seal it with that so just after i moisturize my ends i seal it with my oil and this is my oil of choice um when i'm using heat on my hair like blow drain or using a flat iron i will put the cheek um the cheek <laughs> the chi silk infusion in my hair before i blow dry and then i'll blow dry my hair after i put this in it and then i'll go on to flat ironing even after um, i get done blow drying it i'll apply a little bit more of this and then i'll go on to flat ironing my hair so i use this as my heat protector um also i use this when i'm going to use heat as well this is the um this is the leave-in actually yeah um, the Apogee Keratin Green Tea Reconstructor. I use this. I spray this in my hair right before I blow dry. And I use the Protein. Dang, what's the other name of it? I can't remember. It's the, this is the Green Tea Reconstructor. I think it's the other one. Is the leave-in conditioner um, by Apogee. And this is again, Apogee is a protein line. But I only use this when I'm putting heat in my hair. So while my hair is wet, after I apply my leave-in, I'll spray a little bit of this. And then I'll follow with the Apogee Protein. I don't have it with me around me it's actually in a spray bottle now but I'll spray some of that and then I'll put a little bit of this and then I'll go ahead and flutter so that is my um that's my daily or my daily that's my regimen that I use for my hair so I balance between the two of moisture and protein and these are the lines I use I've been using Apogee now for two years and I love it have no problem with it but you just need to learn how to balance the two for your hair and find a good moisturizer shampoo and a conditioner and your um moisturizer to you know moisturize your ends it's all about reserve preserving reserving preserving your ends and sealing your ends because this is what is going to break off first so you want to keep these as healthy and strong as possible so that is my regimen um if you girls have any questions feel free to ask me message me comment me inbox me whatever and feel free to check out my blog i have a lot of beauty tips on there if you're not already a subscriber go ahead and subscribe i have more videos coming your way um and i'm also going to be trying to wear my hair more hair wear my own hair um there's plenty of protective styles out there i mean it's not only just wigs and drawstring ponytails. You can actually wear your own hair as your protective style. So I'm going to be doing it. It's new for me. I really don't want to, but I need to. Um, so I'm going to be doing it. And that's a major change. I kind of feel like if I leave my hair out, it's going to like break off somehow. Or I don't know. I feel like if I hide my hair, I'll be okay and my hair will continue to grow. But I know it will still grow if, as long as I take care of my hair as I was. The past two years with my half wigs, I could do it with protective style. So, some protective styles I'm going to be trying is like the bantu knots, the braid out, um, the flexi rods, and stuff like that. Now, I'm not, I mean, maybe when I get to like week eight or nine, I'll go ahead and slap my half wig on because I know my new growth is really hard to manage. And yeah. Oh, and I have to go to Sally's this weekend. Have you, anybody tried the, what is it called, the Tangle Teaser to detangle your hair? I've seen some reviews on the Sensor videos. I think it's like $10 at Sally's and it's supposed to like be the miracle detangler. Let me know what you guys think. I am so going to try that. I'm going this week to get that because I need some more Apogee, the Apogee shampoo. So yeah, and then once I get that detangler, I'll let you ladies know exactly if I like it or not. So yeah. Again, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. Go to my blog and please support me there by following me. And I will see you ladies later. And thank you for watching and stay blessed. Mwah!